The Cardinals have been cruising along, but today they meet the buzzsaw, Max Scherzer. Cardinals looking for a sweep. You got to win against Verlander, so it's not impossible. You can see a team batting 247 through two games, allowed seven runs, but thankfully it was enough. It scored enough in the first game, at least, to get the win. 11 runs in the second game. Lots of home runs, the light show in New York. Well, Scherzer has been pitching like he's pitching in Coors Field. I don't know what's going on with him. 5.72 ERA. Oof. He was not messing around today. Max was on his game. First inning, Edmund chasing. I can just tell you right now, there is not a lot of offense in this one. Goldie. Mm. Looking silly on the slider. Scherzer with two Ks in the first inning. His counterpart, the best pitcher in the National League statistically right now, Jordan Montgomery. Sub 2 ERA, sub 1 whip. Let's get it. Jordan knows he's going to have to match. And he was doing his best. You see Carp in the top of the second. Mm. Just nothing. Newt Bar. Ugh. Four Ks through two innings for Scherzer. To the third inning, Wilson Contreras. Guess what? You get the same treatment, sir. Sit down. Not an electric fastball in terms of speed, but just can't do anything with it. Tyler O'Neill. I mean, you already knew he was striking out when he was, when you saw he was standing in the batter's box. It's okay, though. Bottom of the third. Tommy Pham. Mmm. He gets into one, but again, just not enough. Dies in the warning track. And look at this. Through three innings, only one hit combined. Wow. Goldie. Bad one there. Five, four, three. Mm. Bottom half, Alonzo. Mmm. Don't know if that's a strikeout, but guess what? We're going to take it. Cardinals get an additional hit. The Mets still looking for their first. Lindor, hey, guess what? Mr. Smile comes up with one. No shocker that Lindor comes up with the hit. But it amounts to nothing. Tommy Pham, man, he loves hitting the ball deep. He loves the warning track. Clearly doesn't love hitting it over to Waldo. So still scoreless after six. Arenado, the first runner to reach scoring position in this game. And Arenado promptly grounds out. Scherzer are happy about that. Midway through the seventh. Just nothing going on offensively. Lindor gets one up, but it's going to die in the outfield. So through seven innings, still nothing. And even though there's nothing, Edwin Diaz, you, I can't do it obviously for copyright reason, but you know what's playing. Edwin is making his way to the mound. The gatekeeper of the live series collection, 19 of 20 in save opportunities. No save here. Actually trying to get a win. Hicks, a nice counter chess-wise, but still scores after nine, so you got to go to extras. Two hits for the Cardinals through nine innings, one hit for the Mets. This is an ugly baseball in terms of hitting. Pitching is magnificent, but boy, oh boy. And look at that, bottom of the 10th, Carp can't make the play, and that's how you lose. <laughs> can't even really be mad at this one no production from the offense whatsoever for st louis hell either for the mets so it doesn't really matter you see donovan with a single gorman with a single that's it two walks be happy with that montgomery pitched great his era drops even more eight scoreless innings only allowed the single to lindor two walks five k's Hicks with the loss. Tough luck for him. For the Mets. 
Alonzo, obviously, and Lindor with the hit. You saw both. Good game for McNeil. It's over two, but he did draw two walks. So that's really good. Max Scherzer, 11 Ks in seven innings, two hits, two walks. The bullpen shut it down. Diaz, especially, three Ks over two innings at ERA. 0.77. Very impressive. Cardinals don't get the sweep. They at least make it real tough for the Mets, but they take the L on this one. And even then, 72 games into the season, 53 and 19. It's not bad at all. 13 game lead in the division. And now, before we take a look at another game, let's take a look at something else statistically. <laughs> 